अतीन्द्रियो महामायो महोत्साहो महाबला these are the lines from the thousand names of vishnu the vishnu sahasrama which speaks about that vishnu who is above indra himself why are we speaking about indra again this is the second nakshatra which is ruled by indra and we come to the ninth end of the second ninth series of the nakshatras the 18th nakshatra of jeshtha nakshatra which falls in scorpio between 16 degrees 40 minutes and ends at 30 degrees of scorpio that means we are finishing up scorpio and then we'll be going into sagittarius uh, zodiac later on <clears throat> so what is jeshtha nakshatra about well this can be as indra as it gets right the insecure king the nature is sharp and gana is rakshasa therefore this kind of energy if you have more planets and points especially personal ones like mercury venus mars moon rahu ketu etc bunched in this nakshatra you will have a dominant theme playing out even the ascendant or the moon the jeshtha nakshatra persons are all about authority respect status power and therefore insecurity about power it is that saying which goes uneasy is the head that wears the crown right in the english saying so this is insecurity about power itself their life themes are about authority respect there's a lot of energy especially in pada 2 scorpio going into capricorn they want to be authoritarian positions in life strength to achieve they have the strength to achieve things they want materialistic growth superiority complex and you'll notice this trend wherever the gana is rakshasa they will want materialistic stuff they are not interested in the fluff of spirituality they want materialistic growth these people have a superiority complex they may become narcissistic they have a theme of protection of the underprivileged especially in pada 3 fighting for social causes also maybe especially scorpio going into aquarius and navamsha there's that theme also <clears throat> although the dominant theme on the downside will become of jealousy and regret jeshtha nakshatra has a theme of well somebody else is achieving something and i am not getting it and so i'll become jealous of that person not saying that i will go and do it myself or do something about it or i will achieve success through my own means whatever i have talents and abilities but about jealousy and regret this is what they need to watch for transformation of self through awareness practices that's what jeshtha nakshatra needs to do transforming shadow as we might call in the light worker community optimism may be more in pada 1 focus on financial status may be more on pada 2 spiritual transformation may be in pada 4 because scorpio goes into pisces when a water sign moksha sign goes into the higher sign of itself scorpio is the 8th house so pisces is traditionally the 12th house when scorpio goes into 12th house it's like graduation it's like graduation of moksha itself okay the life lesson for the jeshtha nakshatra will become therefore something like this rising of power by retaliation towards exposed hidden enemies defense rather than offense meaning the jeshtha nakshatra person has to wait for enemies to come to them for their talents to be activated to fight the enemies they are the passive aggressive ones they won't actively go out seeking enemies in the external world this nakshatra is all about standing quietly observing you know and then only acting out in defense if they face some enemies and they are very strong at that so this is what jeshtha nakshatra's life lesson becomes they need to feel their power of retaliation 
by exposing the hidden enemies whenever it surfaces they wait for the enemy to surface and then they defend themselves that's the jeshtha nakshatra mantra of course becomes vishnu sahasrama because he is the guru of indra himself the age is active fortunately is very less it is 6 7 27 28 24 24 and 36 so we finish up the second nine of the 27 nakshatra next we shall be starting the last nine of the nakshatras with mula nakshatra take care be safe